Let's say you have a Flutter app and in your app, you'd like to use fonts other than the default font. For example, in this app, we have Ubuntu Bold, Ubuntu Italic and Young Serif Regular. Here's how you go about changing fonts in Flutter. The first thing you need to do is identify the font you'd like to use. If you already have the font files on your computer, that's great. But if you're looking for a source of free fonts, Google Fonts is a great place to start. Feel free to use any font source other than Google, as long as the license of the font you get allows you to use the font. So let's browse through these fonts here and see what we like so that we can use in our project. In fact, I will just use the fonts I have used for the demo. And one of the fonts was Ubuntu and here is Ubuntu. So I'll just click on that. And at the top right corner, we have this download family button. So I'll go ahead and click that. Now those files have been downloaded onto my computer, but I'd like to add the other font that was in the demo so that we have two font options to work with. So let's go back. And rather than keep browsing to find the font, I'll just search for it here. The name is Young Serif. And here is the font. So I'll go ahead and click on that also. As the download is going on, I like to talk about the font types that Flutter works with and the three file types that you can use with Flutter. The first is true type font which is actually the file format in which we will get our fonts from Google. The other is TrueType Collection, which is a font type that allows you to combine multiple TrueType fonts into one file. And finally, we have OpenType Font, which is the third option that you can use with Flutter. Now we'd like to use the fonts we just downloaded in our app. And this is a blank app with an empty scaffold. As you can see, we have nothing in our app. The first thing we need to do is go to our app folder, right click on it and create a new folder and we will call this folder fonts. And here we will paste the fonts that we just downloaded. When you download fonts from Google Fonts, they come in a zipped folder. So you need to extract that, copy the specific font files that you'd like to use, then come to this folder, right click, and then paste your font files into this folder. Once you do that, when you come to the fonts folder, you can see that we have our font files pasted. The next thing you need to do is head over to your pubspec.tml file. And if you scroll down, you'll see this fonts section. So you could either go ahead and uncomment this code and edit it, but let's just type in fresh code. So fonts, hit tab, hyphen, tab again, family. And here is where we'll put in the name that we will use to refer to this specific font. So let's start with Ubuntu bold. In the next line, fonts, and under that, specify the specific location of the font. And we do the same for the other three font files. And there are our three font files. And just to make sure we have our font files, we can run Flutterpub get manually. Right, we're now sure that we have our fonts loaded. From there, we go on to our main dot file and in our scaffold, Inside the body property, let's add a text widget with a simple line of text. Now, before running this, I'd like to stop this up, then build it afresh because I noticed that if you reload and you just added fonts, even if you run Flutterpub get, for some reason, your new fonts don't get picked up until you build the app afresh. So that's what we'll do. Let's go ahead and stop this. And now let's build it afresh. And here is our app with our line of text. So we'll go ahead and modify the font of this text. The first thing I'd like to do is add a const keyword and then add a style property to this text. So style, text style. So inside this text style property, we will change the font family. And this takes a string. And here is where we will pass the name that we assigned to the family in the pubspec.tml file. So we'll take the first one, which is Ubuntu Bold. Save that and reload. And now we have our text in Ubuntu Bold. To demonstrate the different font families, I'll go ahead and wrap this text widget in a column and add two more text widgets. And to each text widget, we'll assign a different font family. Control Shift R is the shortcut, wrap with column. So let's add a sized box for spacing give it a height of 20. So 
So we'll copy this and paste it twice. And so we'll change this first line of text to Ubuntu bold, change the second line of text to Ubuntu italic, and font family, change that to Ubuntu italic, which is this name right here. And then the third one, we shall assign young serif regular as the font family. So let's do that. We save that and rebuild our app. And there are our three different font families. Of course, to make this a bit neat, let's wrap this column in a center and set the cross axis alignment to center. And then set our text alignments to center. Copy and paste that. Save, reload, and there we go. So that is how you change font in Flutter. If you have any questions, post them in the comments below and I will help you out. And if you have any other comments as well, leave them in the comments section. And if you have found value in this video, be sure to like it and subscribe to this channel with the notifications turned on so that you can be notified every time I upload a new video. This has been the Flutter Coach and I'll see you in the next one.